Hello and welcome to another video and in this video I'm going to be talking about my uh, Napoleonic flintlock pistol. Mm -hmm. There you go. I bought this one in France for about 70 euros I think so that's about 100 Australian dollars. Um, and it's, it's quite a nice pistol yeah it's got lovely artwork you see the seal of uh, Napoleon's Imperial Eagle there, and then you've got the personal seal of Napoleon on the hilt. Lovely artwork all along the metal bits here. It's got the barrel. Um, yeah, this is proper wood. It's proper metal. Everything's proper, I suppose. And the um, the flintlock system does actually work, and that brings me to the topic of this video in which I'm going to be talking about how um, the flintlock system fires a bullet from a pistol or a rifle, um, because there were flintlock rifles, of course, or a musket. And um, I'm sure there's plenty of other uh, terms to be that can be used to describe various uh, weapons that use a flintlock um, system. So at the first glance, this firing mechanism here is quite complicated. I mean, I think it looks quite complicated. But um, the whole firing system of this weapon is actually quite simple. You see, oh, this is going to be a, difficult, be a bit difficult to do. In this um, conjunction of working parts, you have the hammer, which is this part here. Um, and um, I'll just cock it to... Um, make the hammer more noticeable. In the hammer you have the jaws which are these two clamps here. The jaw screw to tighten or loosen the jaw because the jaw is clamped on this bit of flint which is very important in um, in the system. If you don't have the flint then this system will not work and the weapon will not discharge a fire. Um, so this is the hammer, jaws, jaw screw and flint. Um, and now this bit here, this flappy bit, this is the frizzen. I quite like that word, the frizzen. And it is kind of the um, the top of the pan. So this uh, brass bit here is the pan, that's the frizzen. Uh, the pan is, actually I'll get onto that later, but that's the pan, that's the frizzen um, hammer. And here, this bit there is the, that metal bit there is the frizzen spring. Um, and so in a realistic weapon that would be a spring, but because of this is more of a model, it's not a proper spring. It's just a bit of metal to look like a spring. Um, so yes, yeah, so that's the main compartments of the, of the matchlock, sorry, not matchlock, uh, flintlock system. And now how does it work? Well, I'll just discharge that. Um, to start with, now this is just the flintlock system. I'm not, I'm not going to talk about loading. I'll talk about loading perhaps in, a, in another video. But imagine, so everything's loaded in here. You've got the bullet and the powder and everything. First off, in this pan here, you'll have to pour a little bit of a gunpowder, just a little bit, um, but just enough. And then you cock the uh, hammer. And normally in a normal flintlock weapon, there will be two uh, positions that you can cock the hammer at. But for some reason, this model has three. So that was one, two, and three. Um, normally, uh, there will be two. So number one will kind of be like a safety uh, lock when you're just about to go into battle and you don't want to shoot someone in the back of the head by accident. accident. And then once you've been ordered to fire, um, say if you were in a battalion and you were firing proper muskets, then you would go to the second cock which normally there'd be only two. So let's say we're at this cock, um, and then we're told to fire. So you pull the trigger, and that releases the hammer. And as the hammer falls down forward, it strikes into the frizzen, and the frizzen opens up. And as you can see, the, um, the, flint, the flint is striking the frizzen, which creates a spark, and as the as the hammer um, pushes the frizzen open, it then opens up the pan, and that spark created from the co collision of the um, the flint and the frizzen um, 
uh, it goes onto the pan, which has a little bit of gunpowder, and so then that and, uh, alights the gunpowder, and there's a little hole, which I don't think this one actually has it, but in a proper uh, musket, rifle, or pistol, there'll be a little hole in the side of the barrel where the spark from that explosion on the gunpowder can go into the barrel where the proper um, amount of powder and the actual bullet will be situated, and then that will explode, um, forcing the bullet out. And towards the enemy, which, because this is a French, um, a French uh, pistol, the enemy could be pretty much anyone on the continent of Europe. You've got, except this, except the North Italians and the the Dutch. Yeah, the Bavarians, the Swiss, but but the main enemies that we'll be shooting at would be the um, the Austrians, the Prussians, the Russians. Spanish rebels, Portuguese, and the Brits. Um, but the countries I said earlier were, were allies of France. Anyway, um, so there you go. That is how a basic flintlock system works. And this system isn't unique just to a pistol. It, it's used on all flintlock firing weapons. So there you go. That is how the uh, flintlock system works. Thank you.